All right. Hopefully I can go through this one relatively quickly. Have the moat. Great Spirit Elixir. That there's a really weird sound from the vibration. It's because of the vibration of my controller. Every time there's a vibration, it's like... My noise gate's too good. Oh well. Zero nine seven one. Um, I've got enough health, right? Yeah. I don't think there was anything in this area other than... need to get the owl's eye from here. So 0971. There we are. One of my cats is yowling in the other room and I can hear it and you can't, which is probably for the best. Uh, let's see. Just swimming along. And then we got Muramasa. Spear gun. Unfortunately, the spear gun in this game is not a projectile weapon, but a main weapon for some reason. So... Yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with my items right now. Hopefully I'm setting myself up to um, finish this by next, um, by uh, next stream of this game. I don't know why the... I have no idea why the spear gun isn't considered a projectile weapon. It really doesn't make any sense. Well, I screwed up that chest pretty badly. What about this one? Cool. All right, and we're just gonna go straight for the silver medallion rather than trying to go in first to there. Man, it is so weird the way that my controller is vibrating. Wait, hold on. I remembered that scarab. This scarab has caused me trouble before. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> 
Excuse me, sirs. You know what's also dumb is there are these giant fish in here, and then there are enemies that fucking require you to, um... Or there are these enemies, these fi there's some, some of the fish are not affected by the, um, spear gun for some goddamn reason. <sighs> Ow, my soul. Okay. So, I guess if you stay underwater... If you stay underwater there until the last second, then you're fine. Hopefully. Maybe I just got really lucky there. Like, twice in a row. Not impossible. Alright, let's grab the oxygen, sh oxygen cylinder. Oxy oxygen cylinder. Wow. Words are hard. Now I go get the silver medallion. Hang on a second. Hmm. I wonder if the contacts on these batteries for um, these Xbox One controllers are a little funky. The water level. At least the water level has some pretty cool music. There's just there's a this level has a vibe that uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 didn't I feel like it didn't even touch. I do feel like Ninja Gaiden 2 is a little lacking on atmosphere compared to this game. So, even if I do prefer the combat system, ultimately, Ninja Gaiden 2, and even in some ways I prefer the combat system of Th Razor's Edge, um, but even if that's the case, I feel like, uh, I will stand by my opinion that this is probably the best game overall in the series. I'm going at this with a lot more confidence than uh, I definitely did on my first run run through of Master Ninja. The first run through of Nas Master Ninja, it was like holding on by the seat of your pants, trying not to freak out at everything. Now it's just like, okay, if I yeah, if I mess up, then I'll get my ass handed to me pretty quickly. But like, it's not that terrible. 
some of the enemies are still terrible. But... Like, these fish are still terrible. The, heli the laser helicopters on this level are terrible. These fish have armor. Like, you can't even hit them with the um, spear gun to damage them. You gotta... Gotta use something else. I'm glad they took out the fish with armor from Sigma. One of the few ways I feel like Sigma outright is better than this one. Or one of the few places where Sigma outshines black, I think. Lord knows, I I don't know if I'm just in the minority or what, but I feel like the... I don't like that many of the graphical changes they made in Sigma because of, like, the bloom lighting. Like, I don't like bloom lighting anymore. Like, it makes it hard to go back to, like, Metroid Prime 3, for example, because that game's got a shitload of bloom lighting. cool would it be if there was a way to actually get that scarab early by like solving a puzzle or something just have some obscure puzzle somewhere that uh yeah let's see i don't remember if there's a thing in the um in the safe anymore Yeah, like, these fish have... One of these... Or two of these three fish have armor. So that they aren't actually affected by, um... They aren't affected by the spear gun. It's like, okay, so you gave us this weapon that's only meant for use underwater, and then you gave one of the only enemies that's unique to being underwater the... defenses to not be affected by it. Okay. Come on now, don't... Don't do this to me. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Left, left, right, left. That's right, this is the last one. Left, left, right, left. Damn it, I did it again. December 23rd, was it? All for the Jewel of the Demon Seal that I'm not even going to use yet. Wow, I'm glad the fish don't grab you instantly out of the gate there. That would be really mean. I really wish you could hear this annoying little sound, just so you can understand. Maybe with me talking, you can kind of hear it in the background, but... Uh. Alright. Doku time. Ah, the failed protector of the Dark Dragon. Oop. 
Didn't mean to bump the mic like that. Oh well. Must I take your life yet again? Really? I was not expecting him to um, just keep grabbing like that. What? Alright, Doku, come on, do something. Don't grab me! How is he blocking with his sword when his sword is boomerang? Okay, he doesn't. Okay, that answers that. I really am not good at Doku and Ninja Gaiden Black. Well, that was lucky. Damn it. He shouldn't be able to just grab me out of the air like that. Or he didn't grab me out of the air, but he shouldn't be able to time it so that uh, he's grabbing me as I'm hitting the ground. Waiting for him to do a shockwave. Okay. So that's more like it. Feeling much better about this. Oh, I was so hopeful. Oh. Okay. That was close. When in doubt, Gleaming Blade. <laughs>
Don't even want your hammer back? No? Okay. Um. Let me think about this. I'm surprised I got Master Ninja there.